This nugget is on first, second and third class levers. A lever is made up of three parts. These are the fulcrum, the effort and the load or resistance. The fulcrum is the point in the lever system that turns or pivots. The effort is a point in the lever system that applies the force to move the load. And the load is the weight that needs to be moved. When we draw a lever system, different shapes represent the different parts. The fulcrum is represented by a triangle. The effort is represented by an arrow. And depending on which lever is being represented will depend if the effort is pushing up or pushing down. The load or resistance is shown as a square on the lever system. Levers can be used in machinery, but we also have them in our body to support movement. In our body's lever system, joints are the fulcrum. For example, the elbow or the hip. In the body, the effort is provided by the muscles exerting force. For example, the triceps or the hamstrings. Within the body's lever system, the load or resistance involves weight. This could be the weight of the body or part of the body or an external weight like a dumbbell. There are three classes of levers, first class lever, second class lever and third class lever. To help remember the order of these levers, here is a little rhyme. Ethel, the elf, fell. If you can remember this rhyme, you will be able to remember the order of each lever. The first class lever Ethel is effort, fulcrum, then load. The second class lever, elf, is effort, load, then fulcrum. And the third class lever, fell, is fulcrum, effort, then load. Ethel, the elf, fell. This is a first class lever, ethel. The fulcrum is always in the middle and the effort and load on either side. However, it can be either way round. The fulcrum is always in the middle of a first class lever. An example of the first class lever in the body during exercise is elbow extension. The fulcrum is the elbow joint, the effort is the triceps contracting and the load is the weight of the hand and in this example the javelin. Another example of a first class lever is neck extension. For example, when a person heads the ball in football. The fulcrum is the pivot or neck joint. The effort are the neck muscles. And the load is the weight of the head and the ball. This is a second class lever. The load or resistance is always in the middle and the effort and fulcrum are on either side. It can be either way round. The second class lever has the most mechanical advantage. The second class lever is found at the ankle and is used in plantar flexion when jumping and raising onto the toes. Some practical examples include the takeoff of a long jump or a triple jump or calf raises. At the ankle, when we look at the second class lever, the fulcrum is the ball of the foot. The effort is the gastrocnemius muscle and the load is the weight of the body. This is a third class lever. The effort is always in the middle and the load and fulcrum on either side. It can be either way round. This lever is the most common lever found in the body. An example of a third class lever in the body is flexion at the elbow. So a practical example would be the upwards motion of a bicep curl. In this example, the fulcrum is the elbow, the effort is the bicep, and the load is the dumbbell. In summary, there are three types of levers. The first class lever, second class lever, and third class lever. We remember the order of each lever with the rhyme, ethyl, the elf fell. On the slide are the diagrams you need to know for each lever. An example of a first class lever would be elbow extension, such as throwing the javelin. 
An example of a second class lever would be plantar flexion at the ankle, such as taking off at the long jump. And an example of a third class lever would be elbow flexion, for example, the bicep curl. Our keywords. Fulcrum is the point in the lever system that turns or pivots, usually a joint. Effort is the force acting upon the joint, it's usually the muscle. The load is a resistance or weight that needs to be moved. The lever arm is a rigid structure, usually the bone. Plantar flexion is movement at the ankle when the toes are pointed down. A mechanical advantage is the efficiency of a working lever calculated by effort divided by weight or resistance.